passion it's so so sad so true they come flocking to my cauldron screaming piggies ursula please and i help them yes i do welcome to the amazing tlp halloween collaboration stick around to the end if you're brave hello happy halloween welcome <clears throat> to hopefully a good piece that i don't screw up haha <laughs> so this collab was really hard because a i'm not really into halloween colors so i figured to stay with kind of my aesthetic <clears throat> i would try doing ghost blooms so i had this idea of just using interference colors on a black pillow and um doing some blooms on it now the interference colors i'm using <clears throat> are duo interference meaning they have two colors in them so I'll be using Comet, which is a red to gold interference, Shimmer, which is a blue to green interference, Macaw, which is a blue to gold interference, and Twinkle, one of my favorites, which is kind of like a violet to blue interference. So I'm taking a risk not using any two paints because when you're blooming, um, it's usually important to have two paints in your layers so your cells stay intact and don't kind of warp. Um, but perhaps I'm going to say, well, I'm not really caring about cells or lacing, more just the colors. Now I've made my mix a little thicker. Uh, I have a mixing video, but I'm hoping that using a little thicker will hold it up more. And so uh, we'll just hope for the best. So this is a 30 inch cradled wood board. I get them in Canada. I don't know where to get the big cradle boards in the States, but I know that fluidart.co makes amazing MDF rounds that are thick that you don't have to gesso or prepare. What I've done is I've just put a 20 inch, just on my cakes, my regular, it's stuck, my regular cake spinner. And I use, uh, it's called the Ohuhu cake spinner, but any metal cake spinner from Amazon is fine as long as she spins nicely. And the reason I have to put this on is because the back of this, it has this so it doesn't really stay flat very well. So it's not like a 100% perfect flat solution, but it will do. Um, and she spins pretty nice. So. Next issue is my pillow paint. Um, I'm using Sherwin Williams Color To Go in Tricorn Black. They are not making these anymore. In the States, people like Color Place Onyx from Walmart. Um, in Canada, it's much harder, so I haven't found one yet that I like, but I haven't tried them all, but definitely I've tried the Glidens, which I don't love, so I'll be on the hunt for that. And I'm going to be using a white cell activator and I'll use my hair dryer. I'm kind of just going to go with the flow, I guess. Um, I'll do multiple blooms and I kind of want it to look like it's kind of floating. So I want to get coverage from one corner to another and I don't want them to warp or stretch out too much. So maybe I'll do multiple little blooms. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do five. Um, because you always want to have an uneven number, so three or five would work. That's just kind of a, an art rule, I guess, for your eyes. So if I do five, I would start in the middle and then do that and see what happens. Now, so since I don't want to spin this out too much and I want to keep them small, you have to be careful how much pillow paint you put down because the more you put down, especially on a bigger one, the more you have to spin. So I think I'm going to keep it kind of thin so I don't have to spin that much. I don't really know. I mean, I've never done this before. So uh, let's just, I'm kind of avoiding it. Let's go for it, shall we? Get to work here. So this is, I used this one, so it's not fully a full quart. So we'll see how much I need. Oh, I hate doing these things because I get so nervous. 
uh, that they're not gonna turn out, but I always tell myself it's only wasted paint, but it's, oops, I saw blue. It's sadder when you're wasting paint that they don't make anymore. So hopefully this will be worth it. So I'm probably gonna use both of these. I'll just put this over here. There's a bit of white happening. Okay, next one. All right. What is it? This guy. And I want when I pour this out because these cans do have lots of bloops in them. So you want to. Oh, see, here's another one. You want to watch what you're pouring. Okay. I really cannot wait. Oh, another one. I really cannot wait. It's like bobbing for, um, I was going to say bobbing for boogers, but that's gross. Um, I can't wait until they figure out their painting problem and get us back on track here. Okay. So that's almost two of these I've used. Now I'm going to um, spread this out so when I spin it, nothing gets in its way because I want to spin it at first fairly fast to get the middle moving out as much as possible. I feel like I'm getting too old to do this on the floor because it's like not that comfortable. <laughs> so, still, so I, what I'm thinking is probably for each bloom, I'll do like maybe the middle bloom. Hmm, I wonder, should I do all three? I know I'm asking you and you can't answer. I'm wondering if I should do all four colors in the middle bloom and then kind of like alternate the colors on the outer blooms, if you know what I mean. All right, let's spin this out a bit. Get it moving. All right. Oh man, here we go. So what are we doing? Well, already I'm getting dirty and I don't want to get black paint everywhere. Okay, Lisa, let's do this. Um, let's start with Comet, which is one of my faves. So I'm gonna do the puddles and I'm not putting on the cell activator until all my puddles are down. Can you please stop moving? Thank you. Uh, okay, so let's do Comet. And I guess I'm gonna do them fairly smallish. All right, let's just do all four in the middle, like I said. Um, this one seems to be shimmer. All right. Then this one seems to be macaw. It's hard to tell until you blow it out on the black. And then we have twinkle. All right, so we have our middle bloom down. I know you can't really see anything yet. Hopefully the wow moment will be when I blow it up. So you wanna think about your placement when you're doing the multi-bloom. You don't want them too far away because you want them to kind of connect and make sense. You also don't want them too close or they'll be a big mess. So how do you judge? Good question. So if I'm doing this, one, two, yeah, I'll probably put it about here. Um, am I paying attention to what colors I'm doing? So whatever this is, I'll put here. Okay. And then perhaps I will put it, if this is the second one in, I'll put it again, the third one out. Now I might not even see this when it spins out, but that's okay. Maybe I'll just see a corner of it. Okay. So that was... Shimmer, it looks like. Next, Twinkle. Love me some Twinkle. Um, why don't I put Twinkle on top of this one? And then I'll put Twinkle, oops, 
on the bottom of this one. Okay. And then I will do macaw on the bottom of this. And then I'll do, oh, my does a little close. I will do macaw on the top of this. Okay. And then I have comet. A little more comet here. Why not? Now, did I do two colors on this one? I think I did. Uh, or did I not? I'll put a little comment here, just in case. Okay, so I think we have our puddles. And after I blow them out, I'll see what kind of work I need to do to modify them, make them look cool, maybe add some swipes of white cell activator, I don't know. All right, wish me luck here. So I'm gonna be using my Baby Bliss hair dryer. And uh, I'm gonna do one at a time because I don't want to put my cell activator down before I'm ready to blow out because it will sink. Let me get my paints out of the way here. All right, we'll do the, hmm. And once I do it, I want to do it quite quickly, as quick as I can. Um, let's do the middle one first. See how she goes, right? All right. Now, I, it's okay that there's a lot of black. Okay. Um, I'll probably blow less aggressively on the next one. You know what? I think maybe mouth blows might be better. Uh, how do I reach that little corner? Definitely looking cool with the sparkles. Uh, let's see what happens if I do a mouth blow. Although it's kind of hard to reach, isn't it? But, and my hair is flopping down. But let's just get to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little better. Okay. Hmm. I might want to do more. I'm not liking this. Definitely liking that one better. Oh, take a little rest. Okay. Okey and yeah, those two are looking cute, I have to say. All right. Whew. 
Okay, so maybe what I'll do is, should I do another one to kind of fix this situation? Then it would be six, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Or I can just kind of smooze them together. Let me think for a moment. Um, maybe. Well, so what happens is since I've already blown this out, there's not enough pillow paint underneath for me to do it again there. Um, and then everything would just warp. Although this is kind of already warping. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna have to go for it and do one in the middle. Even if it's six, because if I spin this out now, this is gonna be the focus and I don't love it as much as I like the ones that I mouth blowed, mouth blew. So let's go over here where I didn't blow and hopefully it will stay intact for us. And I'll do all the four colors again. It's really challenging working on big ones, especially because there's so many factors you have to kind of pay attention to. All right. I love the sparkle though. Ready? Wish me luck. So what I'll have to do to make it even again is do another little one here maybe, and then I'll kind of smooge them together so you, it doesn't, you can't really tell that I made a little boo-boo. I'll just do like two colors. A little one right here to be twins. Still not sure what's gonna happen, guys. But you know what? Never give up until you spin. Um, let's put it this way. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my skewer and kind of zhuzh them together. For instance, I don't like this accident here. Okay. Um, I just want them to look like they belong together, you know? I'm going to sit down again. So. Just not knowing what I'm doing, but that's okay. Not the greatest modifier, but you have other experts here to watch their modifications. Charmin, Nikki, Jody, awesome modifiers. I'm more just like a doodler, I guess. But I'm just kind of like, you know, making pretend like everything I did was on purpose. Ugh. Oh, put my foot in black paint. That's the other thing about black paint. It's like so messy. Okay. And then I'm gonna spin her out real quick. I don't think I need to do swipes or anything. I finish this edge I'm gonna fix the middle somehow and then that's when you just kind of spin and pray 
I spin and pray a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised and then other times I'm disappointed. But that's so just here I'm game. just going to spin her out and I keep checking every once in a while to make sure nothing's warping. And if it's going more on one side, I kind of tilt it so it evens out a bit. Okay. And I just try to make sure everything is look. even and getting all the paint off. And um, I check the middle. So okay. if you Are tilt you your board up and the middle is still moving, that means there's still paint there. So you just have to keep spinning until there's no paint moving. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised how this turned out. We will wait for the close up. And you can see all those interference colors on the black are amazing and they don't fade uh, as they dry, which is awesome. So that color is gonna stay the same and lacing's pretty cool, pretty ghosty if you ask me. Let me know what you think, have a good day. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed my ghost blues. They kind of match my hair. Stick around for the next video if you dare.